two, one. Hello. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome hey. to the Among Us fundraiser for Bushwick Ayuda Mutua. Um, my name is Connor. Uh, I stream on Twitch at Rabbit House Games. I'm a charity streamer, um, and I'm excited to be a part of this. Hey everyone, I'm Mark. Uh, I'm one of the co-owners of Wonderville. Uh, I'm really excited to be uh, hosting the stream. Who's next? I'll be next. Hi, I'm <laughs> E.E. I am on the Death by Audio Arcade board along with Mark, and I'm also involved with events, events at Wonderville as well as community organizing in the New York City game dev space. Hey everyone, I'm, my name is Rick. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of NYC Nightlife United, uh, which is a nonprofit raising emergency grants for um, BIPOC and LGBTQIA uh, owned and led businesses uh, in the community, as well as um, artists and creative workers um, to produce nightlife. Hi, I'm uh, Julia Fredenberg, and I'm a member of the New York City Artist Coalition, and we advocate for small community-driven spaces um, like one of them. Awesome. So we're still waiting for a few players. Um, we have some elected officials joining us. Um, but maybe in the meantime, um, we could learn a little bit about uh, some of the organizations that you all are here representing. Um, so, uh, I don't know, Julia, since you were the last one to uh, speak, do you want to talk a little bit about some initiatives that uh, New York City Artist Coalition is working on right now? Yeah, that would be great. Um, so right now, we are um, pushing really hard for commercial rent stabilization, which would limit how much rents could go up for spaces like Wonderville or restaurants or bars or any place that you go, really. Um, and so right now, we're, we're really pushing hard at, um, for the city council to pass that, um, especially right now, because so many places are so hard hit, kind of the last thing that you need is um, a huge rent increase. Um, and then beyond that, we're, um, we're pushing hard to, to cancel rent at the state level. Um, and I think really a lot of what is needed right now is some, some serious rent relief. Um, in the past, we um, were kind of a key figure in repealing the cabaret no dancing law. Um, and um, now, you know, we're, we're trying to make sure that that spaces can make it through this really hard time. Uh, and then while you were talking, we had uh, a few people join. Um, hello, Alessandra. And Eileen are here. Yay. Hi. Hi. Do you two want to introduce yourselves? Sure. Um, Alessandra, you want to go first? Oh, I think she disappeared. I didn't disappear. I'm just trying to get my earphones situated. You go first. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Yuleen. I'm so glad to be here. I'm sorry that um, I'm trying to kind of get a little bit of a gaming station set up. I'm borrowing my, my partner's gaming headphones. I take this very seriously. Of course, I'm wearing my working family's party shirt. Sorry about that. Um, but always have to represent. Um, I also wanted to say that, you know, this is really exciting. Um, we're three roommates that are literally playing um, all of you. So just an FYI. I, I don't know, maybe we got a little side thing going on, you know, just saying. <laughs> I'm ready to introduce myself. So I'm Alessandra Biaggi and I am really excited to play this. I may or may not have played Among Us for um, more than a 24 hour period of time. So <laughs> I look forward to doing this with everybody. Um, and it's every man and woman and person for them or them, their selves. So, ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and also, I just wanted to say that um, she didn't say that she's the senator, but yeah, she's a senator in the Bronx and I'm the assemblywoman for Lower Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Awesome, we're so excited to have you. 
Uh, and welcome, Julia Salazar. Nice to see you again. Hi, everyone. Is it my turn to introduce myself or, or yeah, no? I guess. Okay, cool. Hi, everyone. I am Senator Julia Salazar, she, her. Um, I represent the 18th district. We call it the great 18th district here in Brooklyn, uh, where Wonderful is. Um, and uh, I, I also represent the neighborhoods of Williamsburg, Bushwick, part of Greenpoint, uh, part of Bed-Stuy, um, Cypress Hills, where I am right now at home, and East New York and Brownsville uh, in the state Senate with uh, Senator Biaggi, um, and also serve with um, Assembly Member Yaleen Yu in, um, in the legislature. Um, who all, has everybody already introduced themselves? Who can I pass it to? Um, I think Emily is the last person. Um, she just joined us. Uh, Emily, tell us uh, a little bit about yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Emily. I actually work for Senator Biaggi in her district office. I'm her district um, director. <laughs> I just got a title change, so district director. Um, I love to do community work. Um, it strives. So that's what strives me. It's one of my passions, and so Helping the community is what it's all about for me. Awesome. Um, we're so excited to have everyone here. Um, you know, this is something we had talked about uh, a month ago when we were doing the fundraiser for Wonderville. And it's so great to um, be able to do a fundraiser for Bushwick Ayuda Mutua, um, who is our local mutual aid group. Um, so if you're here, if you're watching, um, you can donate. Uh, there's a link in the chat. And um, we're hoping to raise money uh, for this organization over the course of the evening. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I'm going to drop a code into the Zoom chat for all of the players. Um, and in between games, I'd love it if we can talk about um, any sort of policies or issues you all are concerned with. Um, everyone here is involved in the community in some form or another, and I'd love to talk about nightlife and rent and small businesses and any other issues that um, you all are interested in promoting. Um, so uh, maybe while I get the game set up, um, if anyone wants to you know, plug something, um, <laughs> you can have a look. Can I plug something? Yes, please. Um, so I, one of the things that I care so much about that um, Emily and I have worked on for so long and that you, um, uh, Assemblywoman New and Senator Salazar and has also worked on is food insecurity and just feeding people. And, and I think that two years ago when I was elected, I never in my wildest imagination would have imagined that a huge part of, of our job would be making sure people have food. Now that's not to say that I did not know or understand that there are food pantries. Of course I do. Of course I understand that there are so many amazing non for profits across the entire city and state that have been delivering food for many years, whether it's the Meals on Wheels program or Met Council. There's a whole host of things going on and I'm very aware of it or City Harvest. But the level at which the pandemic increased the need was one of the most shocking and really upsetting, like just deeply upsetting um, experience to witness because at a certain point, it almost felt like we didn't have enough food to feed all of the people who needed it. And so food insecurity, which is like, I don't want this to become this like lingo that we all say like food and I care about food insecurity. What I actually have thought about when I think about, even though food insecurity is real, of course, but the point I'm trying to make is that it's a bigger, it's part of a bigger problem. And so the thing that I have mostly honed in on is that I believe that there is enough food in this, in the state of New York to feed everybody think that there is a problem with the way that we operate. So I think there's a food systems and operations issue. And I think that one example to highlight this, just to show a very small example, but has a very big impact, was that I represent the Hunts Point food market. And so on a regular basis, the food goes from the Hunts Point food market all over the place, right? It serves restaurants in almost all of the boroughs, and it also delivers food up and down the East Coast. And on one occasion, on a regular basis, the food goes from Hunts Point in the South Bronx to the Brooklyn Navy Yard. But then it doesn't stop there. It actually comes back to the South Bronx. Makes absolutely no sense why the food wouldn't just start in the South 
Bronx and stay there and then also go to the Brooklyn Navy Yard and stay there and have two separate different deliveries. And so when we identified that that was one of the ways that it was being delivered, we were able to say, like, hey, can like, how do we change the operation? What do we do? And we were able to influence the process. But again, that's one small example. So when I talk about food systems, it, one of my dreams would be to like take a map of the whole state and have every farmer, every distributor, every food pantry, every person buy, like need by zip code and just start to figure out, it's like a puzzle, honestly, like figure out where the pieces can kind of interconnect and then disconnect because it doesn't work. So I'm really excited to do that. But again, it's going to take a lot of work to do it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more about um, just making sure that people being fed is an issue. Um, you know, I think that at NYC Nightlife United, I think a lot of people immediately think that we're only looking out for, you know, small venues um, and small businesses when really we've been active uh, in the community and producing a lot of events that are centered around food distribution for people who, you know, don't have food security. It's a, it's a real problem, but we've seen a really good response in, in our events um, over the past month or two uh, around Thanksgiving and the holidays um, where people are really showing up and needing to take advantage of those resources. Um, so mm -hmm. really kudos to you for, for working on that. Thank you. We need all hands on deck for these things. I mean, yeah, all the problems absolutely. I'm sure that all, everything that all of us talk about require all of us to solve. Like it, that's how big these issues are. Yeah. We just had a fifty dollar anonymous donation come in, so <laughs> thank you to whoever that was. Awesome. <clears throat> um, so we've, got, we've got the lobby set up, um, so if you check the Zoom chat, you can join into the game. Oh. Um, and what we're going to do is uh, there's an option here uh, called. Uh, let me see what it's called, confirm ejects, which basically tells you when you kick someone off if they're an imposter or not. Um, it's sort of easy mode. We're gonna keep it turned on for a couple games and then we'll turn it off once we all get acclimated to playing with each other. I think at this point, most people here have played once at least, right? Or 300 times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think my mouse isn't working. I think Senator is a ringer, I, I see. Ask my partner for some help. For names, are you are you all putting your actual names, or you're putting like fun stuff? I put my actual name. I put weird okay. stuff. <laughs> I'm putting something weird too. Me name. <laughs> okay. Okay. Put whatever you like. Okay. Um. Okay. Everyone's here. Uh, shall we start? Or wait, I'm sorry. I think we're missing. How many imposters do we have? We're gonna play with two imposters. Better hope it's not me. Just kidding. Sorry, we just lost someone. Wait, I see on the no, setting that it says one imposter. Oh, let me double check. The sound. Oh, um, imposter. Um, you you choose that when you set up the lobby. So if it's just set to one, we would just have to remake it real quick. Okay. You know what? Let's maybe. Do you want to play one round with one imposter and then we'll switch it, or should sure. we? Sure. Okay, let's play around. We'll get we'll get used to um, playing, and then uh, we'll we'll change it up for the next round. I feel so excited and nervous. <laughs> okay, let's go. And so we I'm should. Not, I'm not mute nervous. I'm a pro. Get in. Let's go. Yeah. So we're all gonna mute uh, during gameplay, and um, then we'll unmute whenever we have deliberations. If you is get that something mute, you're gonna control on your end, or are we gonna mute ourselves? Um, mute yourself in Zoom. Uh, mm -hmm manually and then yeah when if you get killed you can't unmute you're muted for the rest of the game okay is everybody ready good luck everyone okay well 
for anybody that missed the introduction. Uh, my name is Connor. I stream on Twitch as a charity streamer at Rabbit House Games. Um, Wonderville was kind enough to let me host this event. I'm really excited to have been part of the planning process. Um, everybody on the team is great, so you know I'm really excited to be a part of this. Um, and yeah, I keeping an eye on who is doing their card swipe here because it is a common task and if you don't have it that means you are an imposter I have to find a good balance because I, I don't play this super often but I know kind of the ins and outs that I'll be explaining to everybody else but I, I don't want to get you know too sweaty while I'm playing trying to you know get everybody out Let's go, Connor. Oh, hey, hey, Austin in the chat. Hi, everybody. Um, we had a $50 donation before. The um, donation link, you could find it by typing exclamation point donate in the chat. Download data comms. Red, mad, sus. Yeah, red is a sus color. I've definitely gotten that a lot. I do like playing as red, and everybody says it's the most suspicious out of all. Let's see, well, I'm actually kind of blazing through some of my tasks here. Start looking around for some bodies, see if I could find anybody. Okay, that's a really nice message, Edward. As a society, as a human race, we will constantly get over any hump or problems we may constantly face. Right on. <laughs> Ooh, okay, a little reactor being called here. mark up there nice okay yeah, it is kind of tricky with just one imposter so we'll definitely switch back to two for the next one. Oh, there's mark scanning so I can clear mark I know he's good I'm gonna stay see if I can watch D Scully here scan as well they might just be doing oh okay nothing No. Okay, so I don't know what happened, did, but I completed all my tasks, and I have to say that Yi was looking a little suspicious. <laughs> Literally, just standing around in a room way too long, pretending to do a task, <laughs> and I just, I just think it's, it's got to be, it's got to be Yi. I was actually about to come on and vouch for you, not Rick. Well, because we ran into each other the so many times where we could have killed each other. So sorry, but that's just how it is. I just I feel bad. But... Is it you? I trust you. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I don't trust Rick. Why wouldn't you trust me? Because you and I were together alone a lot. So either you're accusing me wildly to throw something off. I don't see why why else you would really accuse me. I expected you, and then you didn't, because I was like waving around at the screen when I saw you creeping around like a weirdo, and <laughs> then you didn't kill me to throw me off, to make me think that you wouldn't be the imposter, which I thought was really smart, but I bet you didn't anticipate me calling this meeting, so I'm calling you out right now. Okay, Unless call me out. Unless we saw how Emily died. Wait, Rick, you I don't even know that Emily died. Is Julia dead yes, too? On the I'm not dead. No, sorry, other Julia. Oh, okay. Julia Fred. It says on the thing, doesn't it? Oh, you can't see. Mm -hmm. Julia <laughs> Fred is muted. So I don't know. Emily, Emily died. Emily mm -hmm. died, and, and Emily's the only dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will say I I saw Mark scan, so I can clear Mark. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna skip. I don't have enough info. Yeah. I don't have enough info. Either. I'm gonna say if you want to kill me, that's fine, but kill Rick next because. <laughs> well, who is what, Rick? What, 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 I'm, what like, color are you? Here. I'm a hundred thousand percent innocent. Please trust me. Don't trust him. So Rick goes randomly. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> Should we mute ourselves now? Yeah, mute again. Everyone, everyone is going to regret not doing what they should have done just then. 
the same. Okay, we saw two. I saw two donations pop up while we were having that meeting. I saw Austin twenty bucks, thank you, and then an anonymous donation for twenty dollars. So thank you both. Uh, I'm sure the people in need will really appreciate the, that money going a long way to help them through the Bushwick Bushwick Ayuda Mutua. Okay, so now I'm done with all my tasks. I am just gonna keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Once again, exclamation point, donate in the chat if you are looking to get that donation link and help out a great cause. There's a cleared mark. That was kind of suspicious between Yi and Rick there. I uh, She was very quick to call him out. Or, or he was quick to call her out. Oh, okay, we got a little party going on in here. I'll just keep an eye on everybody else. I think we're probably going to end up winning on tasks here. It's pretty difficult to do uh, nine crewmates, one imposter as the killer. Yeah, I think we're all just done, and that's why we're all just hanging out. Okay, we've got a little party going then. I'm just going to look around for bodies. Oh, uh-oh. I don't like the look of that. Looked like she was trying to tail me in there for a second and take me out. Let's see. Uh, no, nobody electrical. Hmm. I am getting followed here. Oh. Let's see. I might just call a meeting. See who has any tasks left. Oh, oh. Let's see what's going on in Med Bay. Oh, okay, no. I thought we were about to. Oh, oh, blue. Okay, interesting. <laughs> uh oh. Who found it? <laughs> I did it. Okay, I take back everything I said about me. <laughs> We were together the whole time. I stuck on top of him because yeah, I thought you so, were the killer. So both of us are clear. <laughs> Not. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Mark's dead too. Oh shit! Yeah. Is this our only chance then? No. If it's one in six, we're oh, good until okay. it's just the last two people. Who is Salt Mama? That's me. Really? <laughs> Salty Mama. Yeah, that's me. Oh. <laughs> But okay. maybe it's you. It's, all it's not me. I know that. Uh -huh. Who's Rosie? I'm Rosie. No, I was Rosie. I was in security for a really long time, watching everyone's movements. I just, I think it's Salty Mama. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Where was the body found? Nope. Um, I, <laughs> I have no idea. Not it. I mean, it doesn't seem like we're, it looks like there were two, though. Trust Alessandra. <laughs> what? I think we all just have to trust Alessandra, right? Because I think it was Salty Mama. Hmm. But, like, I didn't see Salty Mama kill anybody. I just saw Salty Mama, like, standing around, like, not really going anywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, no one had she, that she, well. she, she was kind of behind me for a little bit there. She probably could have taken me out and didn't. I don't know. Salty Mama? Mm hmm. I think Alessandra's sketch because <laughs> she was solo. Mm -hmm. I was in the security. Yeah. Solo. Wait, who, who, there were four I of us together. There were four of us together in navigation. I know E, you were there. Wait, what? what is your username? I, I was definitely I'm, I'm in, just Connor. In oh, you're just Connor. Because I know we, we had a little party left. going on there. Um, we could okay, just skip. We, six and one, I think we could just skip. I'm uh, skipping. Oh, God. Hmm. Alessandra, we're like, <laughs> we're like that Spider-Man meme. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Pointing <laughs> at each other. <laughs> Great. Did it say one imposter? Oh no, one imposter or mage. Okay, here we are again. Okay, that was... So close to completing my tasks. That was kind of suspicious. I know we had all four of us there together here. You can and still, then we went you down can still uh, complete your tasks if you're a ghost. Oh, I'm not a ghost though. 
Oh, oh that's just me then. I'm, I'm the ghost. Seems <laughs> <laughs> like everyone's a ghost. Ooh. Johan or Johan, not quite sure how to pronounce it, but thinks it's salty Honestly, mama. Honestly, being a ghost is much better than being a meat popsicle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you get to fly like, outside of the spaceship, and it's so fun. <laughs> like, oh, this. Ooh, donation coming in from, ooh, anonymous $10 donation. Thank you so much. Oh, sad. Well, damn. Dead. Well, uh, Julia. That's, that's rough. Yeah, nah. Julia. When did you, uh, sorry, Julia Friedenberg. What did you, uh, just see there a second ago? What did I just see? Yeah, I mean, there. I just saw Senator what did Salazar. You just see? I just saw Senator Salazar get taken out by one uh, Julia Fried here, so. <gasps> did you actually yeah. see this? Mm -hmm. I would never. Wait, question. I... So if we all vote Julia out, let's say Connor's wrong, but we vote her out anyway, does Connor win the game at that point? Is Connor <laughs> trying to pin it on anybody? No, there, there's, there's only one win? imposter. There's only one imposter, so it, when it goes down to one imposter and one crew, when the, when the number of crewmates and imposters are equal, then the imposters oh, okay. win. But like I, li I was one literally. One chance after this. Well, I think at this point we have no point. We have no choice yeah. but to kill Julia. Yeah, and if it's not Julia, you could get me. To see if Connor did it, because if Julia yeah. did didn't do it, then Connor had to have done it. Yeah, yeah. it was okay, it was it was in lower Julia. engine. I saw it with my own two eyes. All right. You're gonna believe Connor? Okay, okay. I mean, I don't. Believe, I'm just trying to get. I'm just look at my believe. trustworthy glasses. Yeah. yeah, I trust you. I trust you. All right, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna vote for Con against Connor then. Oh wait. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Toe the line. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can. You can vote me next. You can vote me next if it's not her. Let's win. Who's it gonna be, Julia? Feels so different. Uh, you for, I think it looks like you forgot to vote. Oh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I was hidden in like a little shadowy corner. It's hard when I somebody like out. actually yeah. sees you do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. It was a. Yeah. It was a. It was a mistake on yeah. my part. Yeah. Connor was lying in wait, and I. <laughs> I shouldn't. I sh shouldn't murder with the witness. <laughs> Whenever I'm popular in my head, I'm always singing like the "Don't Be Suspicious" song. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't be suspicious. Yeah, it's a good idea. I should have <laughs> done that. <laughs> I don't have sound. Is anybody sound not working on theirs? For me, yeah, I think I'm you good. have to adjust it in your settings. Mm -hmm. Did. I'm gonna set up a new room, um, so I'll send a new code with two imposters. It's a little more. It's a little yeah. more. Fun. Is it the sound on your phone, Alessandra? I think it might be. I'm gonna like. Re I'm gonna go into the listening thing in there. Yeah. Is your ringer on? Yeah, that does it sometimes. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that's what it is. Okay. Might be it. Um, while we get ready for the next game, I want to bring up something that I think everyone here. Uh, is really concerned about, and that's rent. Um, oh yeah, thank you. You know, you all in the New York State Senate are are really pushing for you know some kind of rent freeze or cancel rent. Um, I know uh, New York City Artists Coalition is working on commercial rent stabilization. Um, and you know, as a small business, uh, it's you know it's tough to pay rent when you can't really be open. So I'm curious to hear about you know what's happening at the state legislature with regard to rent in New York City. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Yulene, I don't want to cut you off. Were you about to jump into it? No, go ahead, please. I love okay. going after you because then I don't have to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. I don't want to talk that much. No, okay. I love it. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, you're super informative and like every you cover all the things. 
That's all. Oh, well, hopefully I don't cover all the things on this, but um, yeah, so so Assembly Member uh, Yolene Yu and I introduced legislation that would cancel rents and mortgage payments. Um, and uh, it's actually, it is for residential tenants um, as well as um, property owners um, also applies, uh, pr provides um, the same relief for co-ops, um, affordable housing providers. So we tried to make it really um, comprehensive in that regard. Um, you know, the bottom line is that if we don't um, start from the the bottom and make sure that people with the least resources, I think I'm about to be interrupted by my partner. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, who who brought me my laptop charger because he took both of them with him when he left the house. Um, <laughs> very nice. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, if we don't start with the people who need the support the most, um, then, you know, ultimately this crisis is just going to be perpetuated. In the past, we've seen um, uh, at, at the federal level when there's been an economic crisis um, and in any relief that has come from the state or the city, often the people at the very top are the ones who, thank you, who are bailed out, um, you know, the banks, the corporations, um, in this case, the corporate landlords. Um, and while we totally understand that um, there are a lot of property owners who will be facing foreclosure if they don't receive any relief, um, what, we, what we really need to do is make sure that tenants um, and people who are you know, potentially uh, going to be without a home if they can't pay their rent, um, certainly at the end of the eviction moratorium that was implemented, then um, you know, it, it's, it's just really important that we help the people who need it the most um, and that we do it by actually forgiving their rent payments because um, so far the only relief that's been, the only real relief that's been provided has been a voucher program that is really inadequate um, and, and that is really difficult for people to, to um, be eligible for. Um, and you know, as a as a result, we're really just kicking the can down the road. Uh, the eviction moratorium that's currently in place is pretty comprehensive and pretty accessible to people, but it expires on May first. Um, and uh, and and you know, if we don't do anything more than that, then after that point, people are just going to be in the same position again because it's it's just totally unreasonable to expect people who've lost their income uh, due to the pandemic, which is so many New Yorkers, to then have to pay this back rent. Um, and so what we really need to do is clear those payments um, and, and make sure that anyone who's relying on people to pay their rent or their mortgage, um, that they're made whole as well. Sorry, I'm like reading Yee's uh, chat. Sorry. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm not even looking at the chat. It's hilarious. Um, but I just, I, I wanted to add to that just a little bit, which is also the fact that, you know, right now um, we are seeing uh, that people need expediency. You know, just what, what Julia was saying um, is so key right there, right? That the money is not getting to folks fast enough. And like right now, the 100 million, which is like a drop of, in the bucket, um, hasn't even been doled out. 60 million of it hasn't even been doled out, you know, because of the, the, the very hardcore testing that it takes to even qualify. And I think that, um, you know, having such means testing is really, really difficult to make it so that people can't have so many barriers in the way um, of being able to have uh, the funding that they need right now. And I think that, you know, our small landlord um, uh, fund, relief fund, will actually be super quick and super helpful and will make it so that um, the pool of money goes directly to the small landlords um, who apply. Um, and that makes it so that it's easier for them to keep track of everything and it makes it so that it's a lot more fast and it goes directly to um, to be able to stop gap some of the, the uh, economic downturn that we've been experiencing here. Uh, we should have been doing this much earlier on. I mean, if you think about it, if we had done this in April or uh, May, uh, we could have probably prevented a lot of this pandemic altogether, just because uh, if we're making, you know, we have to talk about how housing as healthcare, right? We have to talk about housing as healthcare. And if we had made it so that we were paying people to be able to stay at home and then making it so that people had homes to stay in, um, that would have help people immen immensely during this time. And so I think um, we did things a lot backwards. And right now we are only like stopping the 
floodgates and trying to basically um, staunch a huge bleed, right? Um, and I think that right now uh, folks are really hurting and so we need to get money to them fast so that we can be able to staunch the bleed, right? And um, and that's, that's what this bill is about. And um, I think that, you know, the faster the better and also the less barriers the better when we were talking about the food program earlier i mean i use this as an example but um you know we don't have to recreate the wheel in a lot of ways like we don't have to um like for example with the food program like one of the biggest criticisms i have is that you know we we instead of like investing in our safety net instead of investing in our settlement houses instead of investing in the in the groups uh you know serv social service pro programs that we have instead of like making it so that we had um maybe a uh, attached or expanded snap where people could actually use the dollars like like cash and go to a restaurant uh, and small business to help to keep them in business also to make it so that um they're getting healthy nutritious and culturally appropriate food um that that is, you know, going to actually sustain them rather than the dipta meals, which were full of, you know, crackers and cookies and milk and, you know, applesauce. So much applesauce on the street. I can't even tell you how many cans of applesauce or jars of applesauce I've seen. And um, it is like wasteful, number one, and then full of sugars, full of preservatives and all of the things that, you know, people couldn't eat, you know, over so much time, right? And I think that um, we are seeing that cycle instead of actually seeing you know, folks um, heal. And so instead of investing in our communities, we had been taking from them and we just kind of allowed folks to, um, you know, we cut 20% across the board on social services and we should have actually been helping to make sure that, hey, maybe we should make it so that we're actually funding our settlement houses and the nonprofit organizations and the folks who are doing all this mutual aid and actually giving them uh, more uh, ability to be able to actually deliver maybe um, and then they already knew the needs of the district they already need, knew the needs of the area they already knew the needs of um, each of the communities that they were serving culturally dietarily etc right and so why are we not expanding our social safety net in this dire time and instead we cut them and then we replaced the the services that they were doing with a with a program that didn't work right and that alessandra julia and i had to go and tweak and fix on like little different levels from you know for delivery things trying to get trucks for folks like it was ridiculous and i think that um you know it, it's it's really kind of uh goes to show that there was not a lot of forethought right in 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 these things even though i will tell you that um I, you know, we, we all talked about it during the budget of last year. And uh, we talked about it at length and talked about how we could actually recover um, or how we could provide a stopgap budgetarily, and yet we didn't. And so right now, I also wanna give props out to the Invest in New York package, um, talking about how we could raise revenues for our state in order to make sure that we, we can actually fund the programs that are helping us to heal. <clears throat> and that's why mutual aid is so important. Um, yes, yes. So our federal government failed us, our state government failed us, our city <laughs> government failed us. It's our neighbors that helped out. Yeah, seriously. This is what um, that really, ca you can hear my dog crying. <laughs> what really kept, um, <laughs> what really kept our communities going. Um, and that's why it's so important for us. To <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know why he's crying. He's just jealous because um, uh, he wants to play among us. But um, it's, it's why it's so important for us to support organizations like Bushwick Iota Mutua. And um, just to your, you know, original question on, um, you know, for, as commercial tenants, we do want to see the same relief provided for commercial tenants. And we know that um, if our um, if our state finally uh, starts to take things seriously and raise revenue and tax the ultra wealthy, we could afford to do so much more and really provide for people's needs, including for small business owners. I have a question. Like, first of all, it's really impressive what y'all are doing, fighting logistical challenges and changing all these hearts and minds and bringing all these communities together. Uh, what can I or people like me, just ordinary people who are not elected officials who don't work in politics or policy, but maybe who do some community organizing or have a platform that can reach people, what can people do to support these initiatives or this bill? I think 
um, some of the biggest uh, ways to, I mean, obviously you guys already are doing so much to support these things, but I think the biggest things to do are, you know, the things that you're already doing, advocate and make sure to talk to your neighbors and talk to folks about their situations and talk about how like these things can change things for people, right? I think that that's really, really key. And um, it's about the activism on the ground. Nothing changes in Albany without people on the ground. Awesome. Well, while we were having this conversation, the room timed out, so I apologize. <laughs> um, so if you just want to join in the new room, uh, we can start the next game. Um, this is a great conversation. I would love to keep mm -hmm. it going. Um, but let's let's play another round, and then we'll. Keep it's like a strange oscillation between like wild <laughs> accusations and let's yeah. talk like constructive policy. <laughs> um, for some reason, I my game is like weirdly frozen. Oh, there it is. Actually, I'd love to hear about how people can donate um, exactly from Twitch. So sure. Call. You can type exclamation point donate in the chat and the link will pop up. And any donations you send will pop up on stream. You can include a little message if you want to give a little shout out to someone. We're at $300 so far, so thank you to everybody that's donated. Alessandra, I love the cherry on top. <laughs> Is it so cute? <laughs> it reminds me of um, uh, a flavor I can't put my finger on. It's like a Slurpee flavor, cherry, van not cherry vanilla, I forget. But anyway, that's the colors remind me of. Yeah. Like tiger or something. I don't know. It's very cool. <laughs> we just got a $25 donation from Mark is the imposter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> wow. Know who we're going to kill. <laughs> I'm going to start this game and we'll see if it's true. Let's do it. Wow, an anonymous $250 donation. That is incredible. Thank you so much, whoever that is at home. I'm very sad that I keep changing colors. I did not like that. And Steph, I did see your message about bringing the pupper on camera i will let oh wow very aggressive uh oxygen here i will let senator salazar know for the next one. Oh, there's he i'll just let somebody else take care of that other one. Oh wait okay <laughs> they're taking a little too long for my tastes oh oh wow mark already that was really quick Oh, dang. It's somebody who knows how to play. <laughs> oh, the first person they kill is Mark. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> where was the body found? In the room where the, everyone was just gathered in. I don't know what the rooms are called. <laughs> there was an mm -hmm. oxygen depletion, and I think everybody was headed there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I see. It was a stacked kill. Okay, well, I saw E uh, doing the oxygen in the admin room. So, at least for this kill, I can clear her. I wasn't in I there. wasn't doing oxygen, but I was doing something in the admin room, yes. I was doing the connect your cable thing. Oh, that okay. Why are I was on my way to the med lab. I guess that's what it's called. I was on my way from the med lab. Oh, did you run into each other? No. <laughs> I, um, it. No, I, I also know. went to the med lab, but um, I was mostly alone, honestly. Which is <laughs> one of you was lying. <laughs> but no, but I think one of you, one of you saw me in there and was not killed. So. Well, I'm alive. There you go. Yeah, face. exactly, exactly. So I'm good. I'm also alive. Mostly alone. Mm -hmm. mm. Mostly. <laughs> Okay. You reported it. Yeah, I just reported it. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip. Yeah, we're gonna skip it. Oh, we were supposed to skip it. You don't have to. I'm the only one who didn't. <laughs> Sorry. Who the hell voted for me? <laughs> Why? Well, I don't know. Okay, we had a $20 donation from Andy. 
Thank you, Andy. We're over $595 so far. I'm just waiting for the ticker to update. Hmm. Oh, she, okay. For, she walked away before the, um, I didn't see the task bar go up, but she probably has where you have to inspect the samples. Oh, someone's locking me in here. Okay, well, I just have to sit around and wait <laughs> for that to open back up. Okay, I'm pretty sure Emily is good. Um, she also has the opportunity to take me out right here and is not. Oh my gosh, why are there so many tasks? <laughs> See, a little tricky having, because we only have nine players, so two on nine is pretty good. Oh, wait, I just heard something. It might have been something on somebody's mic, so I'm not sure. wait to see what he does here probably doing download oh I didn't see that taskbar go up it might not have go might she might have several steps to it so it might not go up yet um, oh come on I keep getting locked out of where I have to go okay let's move back on over to electrical there might be Somebody dead in here. I feel like it's a pretty common place for people to get killed. Oh, alright. Let's see. Oh, orange. Where was the body found? Where do you see the room names? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm curious. I need like a chart. <laughs> I really do. I'm not kidding. Like, one that's accessible when we're voting. Yeah, I don't know the names of all the rooms either. I just know, like, roughly what area. I didn't see the body. I only saw Connor and Rick this time. I think. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I'm clear of all wrongdoing. I am an innocent. Do not vote me off. <laughs> I love your background. I'm dead, but I just wanted to ask a clarification question. Are there mm -hmm. one imposters or two imposters in this game now? Two. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Wow. So they're covering mm -hmm. for each other. Yeah. Uh, I was with Rick when the door is closed, so I don't think it was Rick. Yeah, mm -hmm. I totally didn't kill you. I was like, oh no. This um, person that was totally didn't kill me and I lived to tell the tale. So it wasn't Emily either. Unless it was you two together. Oh, that would be sick. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh no, I did run into Julia F briefly, mm -hmm. but nothing happened. I mean, Julia did lie once. Okay, there's two imposters and seven of us, so... Oh my god, we're so screwed. Yeah, this is actually kind of rough. I'm just gonna vote somebody at random. <laughs> I Sorry, Rick. I'm voting for Julia again. I voted for Emily. <laughs> I'm gonna vote for you. No, Emily's, for not, you. Emily's fine though. She's good. <laughs> oh, sad. <laughs> Die. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, this really wow. is not Back good. As a ghost, I'm. I wish that I had dead chat right now, but <laughs> nobody else is dead. What? Security, upper engine. Yeah, we gotta hurry because two versus two oh, imposters. I see. At the bottom, it says it. Two imposters with uh, seven players is a really bad position to be in. Because if we voted there, the imposters could just. Oh, apologies. I live on a very busy street. Uh, the imposters could just uh, kill two more people when it's two hey, and move. four crewmates. Um, yeah, I don't think it's Senator Biagi. Um, this is kind of tricky. It might be Julia again, honestly. She's been really suspicious this entire time. I'm gonna have to go hit the button because I don't. I'm scared of like a double kill here. One, two, three, five, six. Okay, yeah, we'll go back to comms. See if there's anything else we can find. This is tough. I, I really don't know who it's who it is. 
We see a body in here. Oh. Okay, so Julia probably could have killed Tenator Salazar there, but there's also the possibility that they're both the imposter. Oh. Okay, Where I found the. I, I'm okay. I found <laughs> her right outside of navigation. Um. I saw right before I found it. Um, Senator Salazar was fixing the communications. Julia was in there as well, but she uh, stepped in and then right back out. So, hmm. And I was there, and I was right yeah. behind you. We we actually have to vote here because um, who died? Though? I think it's Alessandra because yeah. I didn't see her at all. Mm -hmm. I saw her, but she yeah. just looked really suspicious. <laughs> was I over there? Where you found the body? I didn't find the body. Yeah, no, I, I, I saw um, Senator Biaudi on the other side the entire time. Uh, so we were pretty, uh, we were on the left side for most of it. So I, I'm uh, not entirely cleared for this kill, but. Uh, so you're saying we gut, don't vote, my Rosie? Gut is, uh, no, we definitely have to vote. I don't know why people are voting. Because um, we, if Rosie. we, if we mess up this vote, <laughs> the imposters pretty much just win. Um, yeah, Rick was randomly just standing in the cafeteria, and I passed. Yeah, because I, I, you're I just standing there. Pass. I'm a productive worker. I contribute <laughs> to the ship and its well-being, all the community. And you accuse me? I'm not accusing. I'm just saying you were just standing mm -hmm. there, which doesn't seem suspicious to me. Actually, you were had, literally doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, because I'm literally too good at all my jobs. I have nothing to do. Was Rosie an imposter? But are I we didn't not... do the show. Wait, are we not allowed to know? <laughs> no, confirm. Oh, Ejex no. is currently turned off. I don't know if that was right. I mean, we had a one and third shot of hitting it on that, so. I'm gonna continue just chilling in the cafeteria. The odds aren't terrible. It's still pretty suspicious. We really have to hurry up. If that was wrong, the killers just uh, take us out here. All right, I'm done. But I, I really don't even know like who's clear. I knew Emily. It wasn't her. So. But I mean, she's dead now, so I can't really like follow her, hang out with her, or anything. Um, let's watch cams, see if I can catch anybody. Ooh. Oh, we got a donation. Oh, I'm sorry, donation. I'll read you in one second. We've got a oxygen situation here. All right, I'm gonna go to the admin one and hope somebody goes to the top one. Um, oh, he's down there. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, I see Julia running away. It's Julia. It's it's Julia. I saw her running away from. I saw her running in the opposite direction from the oxygen, and then I found Rick's body. Which Julia? Um, Julia Friedenberg. Okay. Good enough for me. Again. Yeah. E E was at the bottom. Uh, at uh, the bottom oxygen doing. Uh, take, fixing the oxygen in admin, so I can clear her. Yeah. Julia. What the f it is? I'm an imposter again. <laughs> I've been playing this game for now three times in my life. Low. Julia, you also have to vote. Yeah. I guess. Oh. Do a spite vote. <laughs> Oh. Did we win? Or was Connor just really Ooh, good? Oh, okay. there we <laughs> go. <laughs> oh, there was only one imposter in that one. Oh, no. Alessandra was. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Yeah. Alessandra was definitely the one <laughs> of them. She stabbed me right in the eye. <laughs> oh my god, that was you! Mm hmm. We just got a $250 donation from Ori. Got some extra wow. cash off meme oh. stocks. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Thanks for the donation. Meme stocks. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Ori. But everybody's using that GameStop stock to like pay it forward. It's really amazing. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that. Yeah, my, my donation for tonight came from Dogecoin, so you, you can thank that a little bit. <laughs> Is it too late to buy Dogecoin? <laughs> Yeah. As the bubble burst. Yeah, I don't want to give advice. <laughs> I think so. I think last night was like when it hit eight cents. 
that was a big deal. Um, cool. So, so I guess. Uh, Go ahead, yeah. So yeah. While, while we're in between games here, I guess Rick, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, muted. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, can you just tell us a little bit about uh, New York City Nightlife United? Just how it started. What you've been trying to accomplish throughout the pandemic? Yeah, NYC Nightlife United actually started on a um, on a group meeting that Julia was hosting um, at their organization. Um, where basically put out an open call to, um, you know, I think there were more than 100 people um, in that meeting saying, hey, listen, um, COVID is really not going to treat um, the nightlife community very well. Um, venues, small businesses, and workers are going to be left behind. Um, and really, it's going to be up to us to build a support system for ourselves. Um, and that's exactly what we did. I connected with uh, the other co-founder, Diana Mora, who um, is the owner of Friends and Lovers. And um, we just kind of dived right in and started fundraising for emergency grants for the community. We successfully raised um, more than $150,000 um, for these artist grants, which is very, very exciting. Um, we're actually going to just now um, dispersing the second round of, um, of grants, and there will also be a third uh, coming soon, I believe as soon as next month. Um, so it's, yeah, it's really, really excited. Um, goes to show that it really, it's, I don't know, can make really cool things happen by just being loud and, and speaking directly with your with your community, even if they are somewhat strangers. Thanks, Rick. Yeah, it's it's really great to see like uh, leaders from kind of the nightlife community come together and put together this fund. Um, I know there's so many musicians and sound engineers and promoters who are out of work um, until who knows when. Um, and it's, it's a huge amount of, of people in New York who just don't have a safety net. So it's really great what you guys are doing. Thanks. Yeah, it's also really important too because a lot of the, um, the venues and small businesses that ordinarily would have um, qualified for the PPP loan uh, weren't really able to because so much of the industry is driven on the gig economy. And if you know anything about how the PDP loan is calculated, you know that 1099 workers are not included in um, the loan calculation of what you're eligible for. Um, so having efforts like these, efforts like um, the Shuttered Venue uh, Operators Grant that the SBA is now doing thanks to all of Neva's tireless, uh, inspiring uh, lobbying efforts um, you know, these are the things that are really going to um, help the community sustain through through the pandemic. So, awesome. Um, do we want to? Does anybody else want to expand upon that, or do you want to play another round? We're good. Play. We have eight Let's eight play. in the lobby right now. I think we're missing someone. Can oh, we, I didn't get in yet. Can we do a new board? We can sure. do mm, yeah. uh, I will have to uh, quit this and start a new game, but we can start a new map. You guys want to start a new map? Yes. Sure. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm going to leave this game and I'll drop mm -hmm. a new invite uh, for you all. Oh, thank you for the fifty dollar donation. Connor knows too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I play this too much. <laughs> um, all right, let's do Paulus. I There's like no that. too much among us. <laughs> hey, it's oh, for situ it's for situations just like this. Oh, I'm the only one in the room now. Yeah, oh, and Karen Finn Narlane, twenty five dollars. Thank you. Ooh. At least we're raising some money here. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. You're about to break the 1,000 mark, so <gasps> almost That's there. Amazing. Almost there. Yay. What's the goal for you guys tonight? 
as much as we can get. <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, a thousand was sort of like the initial goal. We weren't really sure how many donations we were going to get, but this is amazing. And um, if we hit a thousand, <laughs> we'll shoot for two thousand. You know. I think you guys need to make a meme with the rocket ship, like they were doing for Dogecoin. <laughs> <laughs> But for the org, you know. It's a great idea. Yeah. It'll be Julia wearing Bernie mittens sitting in a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bought that sweatshirt. I'm waiting for it to be delivered. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Anyone in chat wants to make that gif, we'll throw it up. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I love the suit. I need to buy new hats. I need a, I need a, I need pants. <laughs> I can understand. Sometimes I go on here alone just to buy the outfits. The reason why I feel like pants are important right now is because I can't fit any of my own. I <laughs> <laughs> a movie. Name that movie. I can't fit into any of my pants, my clothes. I don't know. That's just my daily life. <laughs> <laughs> No. I did in the last year. In your, in your brain, Yelena. No, no, actually, on the scale. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. Scale's broken, obviously. I will just say, nobody should be like me and order McDonald's at 4 in the morning. <laughs> like, literally, there's nothing left open, so. But that's the beautiful thing about living in New York. You can just well, when you're working do that. at all times, like, during this pandemic, I have to say, like, I was delivering meals and sending, like, putting out PPEs, and I myself like couldn't get a decent meal in my stomach. Yeah. All right, let's kick it off. Woohoo! Well, yeah, we're gonna try to follow somebody. I think it's fun. Just about at one thousand. Thank you so much, everybody. Sorry if we we didn't catch all the donations. Uh, thank you. So, oh, we got another one coming in. We're gonna take a look. Brian Gav, hey, thanks Gav, 60 bucks, let's go. Very nice. Well over a thousand, all right, we'll have to update that in between games. Where am I even, I'm just like kind of aimlessly walking around. Um, let's set this up. 4 a.m. <laughs> is the best, yeah. I'm glad uh, we're all in on that together here. Specimen room, weapons, I haven't played this one in so long. Here we go. Gotta decontam. Stay safe. Ewan is the best district for late night eats. Oh, true. Bushwick also had some really good places. I uh, was living pretty close to Wonderville, which is when I ended up finding it a little while back. Um, okay, have to go back up to Med Bay eventually. I'm gonna go check vitals, see who is where. I got two in the lab. There must be a lot of people kind of just walking around everywhere. Um, oh. Okay, wait, before we do this, I have a question. I see. Someone yeah. tell me how to do the task where you have the two little the nodes. What are you supposed to do? Is it like, is it, it's the one that's like the little maze? Yes. Yeah, you have to like kind of click at, at the top left one and just kind of like drag it through the maze to the, to the other end of the node. On the little path that it gives you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So hard. It's a very suspicious condition. Clearly, Alessandra is trying to clear any kind of wrongdoing. I took a screenshot just to even if nobody knew what I was talking about, just because I care that much about this. <laughs> <laughs> I took the screenshot beforehand, requested a new board just for this scenario. Mm. <laughs> so suspicious. Yeah. And I thought you played hundreds of hours of this Hundreds of hours. How would you not know how to do this? Well, I never played hundreds, I played 24 hours. Mm. 24 straight hours. Very, very sophisticated. That's a hard where, one. Where was the body found? I don't know. No one knows? Who found I don't it? Know who it is, I voted. Who, who did you vote for? Alessandra. You're not right. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip. I'm so right. No, you're not. You think you're smart, but I got you. <laughs> I blamed it all. You guys are not right. <laughs> okay, maybe no. <laughs> <You're not. laughs> Rick is uh -oh. a little too overzealous with the. I just think we need to move fast. You know. 
Salem witch trials. See ya. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't see anything suspicious that last round, so I'm not entirely sure just what's going on. I'm just watching. Don't worry. <laughs> Nothing suspicious. I know. I, I doubled down, actually. Oh I, my gosh, uh, how do you fix these lights? The red color is already suspicious. So I put the devil horns on just to uh, double down. Senator Salazar doing communications out in the office. Oh, I gotta go back to medbay. Decontamination and weapons. All right, so let's go down to weapons. Let's see how the, the asteroids. This is a good one to get people on. Oh, all right. I found the body at the office. After I did the wires on the wall. Ooh. It's always me. At the <laughs> office? Oh, and, mm -hmm. and also- Who was the body? This time? Who's the blue person? Lean. Lean. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will say I was looking at the cameras probably about 30 seconds before this was called in. I did see Senator Salazar hanging out in office, but I don't know what she Where? was up to. I, I, I was on the cameras and I saw Senator Salazar in office. I think there was like an alert from that direction, though. Why well, well, heading there? I don't know. What do you mean an alert from that direction? Yeah, there was electric, which like I went a, to. Wah. Yeah, I saw Connor in electric. Um, and yeah, um, Alessandra, you were in there too. Yes, I did the wires, I said. Yes. I. Emily, at least you She's working all of us away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she did, also, she did also vote very quickly, so I'm. Go for I'm, so, I'm sorry, Wait, Senator. who's voting? <laughs> I'm voting. I voted for. I was in the office and I didn't see anyone else in the office. And that's where mm -hmm. it was when a body was reported. Yeah. Do you know where, like, in the office the body was found? Who yes, right by the wires. Right by the right wires? Yes. Oh. Interesting. I wasn't the imposter. Do we, do we get to know? Oh, wait, we have to be muted. Oh, I'm a ghost. Oh, and we just got another donation. Vanessa and Keith, fifty dollars. So Thank chat? you so much. Yeah, I know the ghosts can type to one another. Um, do we have to create ghost chat? The other senator is the imposter, Senator Biaggi. I don't know. That was a pretty specific question about the the nodes in the beginning, so I'm not entirely sure. I feel like she's probably okay. I saw Mark and her trying to fix the wiring and electrical. But if Mark is dead next time, I'll, I'll let him know to update the donation incentive because everybody at home so kind, bringing us over $1,000 so far for a really great cause. I don't know, Mark's standing there for quite some time. It might be his last task. Oh, Senator Viaggi, I saw she hesitated to come in here with me. I'm not suspicious, I swear. Oh, I gotta go back to laboratory. Bats on hitting goal. Thank you, Karen Finn. The others. Emily is so quiet. I think she saw us. That's a good point. Yeah, it's it's always the quiet ones. Not me. And I'll let you guys in on this because you're all at home. Usually when I'm the imposter, and hopefully I, I can get it at least once tonight, I uh, I get super chatty <laughs> with it. Anything in here? Nope. All right, let's, there's probably gonna be somebody dead here at lights. There's Rick, Mark fixing the lights. All right, I'm gonna go check vitals. Let's see, oh, there's Senator Biaggi. Oh, yee, looked like she was running from something here. Okay. Let's check. Um, did we, were all these people dead? Okay, yeah, nobody else died, right? Mm -hmm. There were, there was a skip and then we voted for Senator Salazar. Okay, so I'm done. Um, 
Oh, I don't know. I don't like that. <laughs> I do not want to be followed by her. She's way too quiet. Um, anything up here? This is a really good spot to kill people. Nobody comes up here after the beginning of the game. Let's anything on cams. Oh, there's Mark. No, oh, she's checking vitals. Yeah, I'm pretty confident it's not Mark. Pretty confident it's not Senator Biagi. Oh, who was that? Someone purple, I think. I couldn't really tell. It might have been, uh... Oh, I know, Julia Friedenberg is... I think she's dead, so... Let's see. Who... Nope, nobody in here. He's been on that for a little while now. I don't know. <laughs> he might not know it the way that Senator Biagi didn't. I might just hit the button, honestly. Oh, what? Wow. Yay. Wow, you both had me completely fooled. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, how did we win, though? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Straight up murdered everyone. Oh, yeah, that would do it. One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, or kicked someone yeah. out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me. Very strategic. Wow. Very smart. <laughs> I mostly just let Mark kill everyone. <laughs> let myself yeah, Mark be seen definitely everywhere. Killed <laughs> I killed only one person. I was like, oh, he must be here to wire too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he clear he marinated me before. He was like, oh, yeah, I saw Connor at electrical. Yeah. He's all good. <laughs> Can't trust anyone. You, gotta, you know, you gotta throw uh, the fake outs. <laughs> Mark. Um. So, uh, before we start our next match, um, Julia Frettenberg, do you want to talk about New York City Artist Coalition? What sure. Do you guys yeah, um, I guess I, I gave a little intro, I think maybe before folks talk here, but um, I'm the member of the New York City Artist Coalition and we advocate for the uh, preservation of small um, cultural spaces. Um, and we, um, I, I kind of principally through policy lens. So um, we've been pushing really hard for commercial rent stabilization at the city level um, and then cancel rent um, at the state level. And I guess I'm going to kind of turn my my um, my self promotion over to a question um, for our our charming state reps, um, which is kind of like I feel like there is a great demand for cancel rent from New Yorkers. And I wonder what what is that impediment to making that happen? Um, and what can we, I mean, this is similar to Yi's question, but what it kind of like, what is that impediment? And then how do we make it happen? Um, Cause I, it seems like this, the eviction moratorium will end at some point and we will see just a cascade of evictions from people's people from their homes and also you know all the all the cultural space I and mean, not all but you know a good chunk of cultural spaces that we that we know and love today uh, go go for it just, i just said cuomo he's the reason no. <laughs> <laughs> like one word like honestly I mean, this is something we could have dealt with last year, like myself, Senator Salazar, somebody woman knew. I mean, all of us knew last year in March, we had a $6.1 billion deficit. When you have a deficit that big at that point when nothing is really going wrong, like you have a problem, right? Especially because at that point in time, California had a like double digit surplus in the billions. So it's not like we couldn't have that. And they have a larger economy than we do. And so the fact that we didn't raise revenue last year and then we entered into this like absolute spiral of just like unrelenting unemployment dips and just incredible financial insecurity and we have been able to at any point in time pass bills a whole series of them which the invest in our new york campaign is pushing now this year which are a lot of the revenue raisers from progressive um, income tax to the capital gains tax um tax financial transaction tax mm -hmm. woo tax Taxing things like a yacht and a jet, like <laughs> why would that not be taxed? It doesn't even make sense in our brains. But regardless, these are things that we could 
do and could have done. And it has been an uphill climb to even have our governor in the state of New York, who for 10 years has, has passed austerity budgets, even agree that we this is something we need to do. That is incredibly important when it comes to canceling rent, because obviously we're going to have to help people who are not able to use their savings or have you know years and years and years and years of back paying rent that they wouldn't have been able that they it would that would have been hard for them to pay in regular times on on with their same jobs because the cost of living in new york is incredibly high and most people don't have savings that are more than a thousand dollars if they even have that so the fact that we haven't done something is cruel in a big way but the governor has been an incredible impediment to this and now he's agreeing that we should pass a progressive income tax of some sort that he's created in his like in his in his mind and it's not enough and i really want everyone to just be really keen to this because the fact that we that we do something it has to be enough we can't just do something to check off a box that we've done it that's a very classic cuomo move look i did this thing over here don't pay attention to the fact that like could have done more to save your life but like i did a little bit over here it's not enough and the state has to do something because when the federal government does give us funds, it's not gonna be enough either. So I think the, the the impediment is definitely him because we also need funds for it, but there's also just this political unwillingness to, to just care for these things and not everyone does. And I think that, you know, it's not, there's not necessarily a mandate for everyone to care about everything that you care about, but when most New Yorkers are suffering, there is a mandate for our leaders to care about those things. And so I find that to be one of the most egregious parts, but that's why raising revenue is key. And a lot of the bills that Assemblywoman New and Senator Salazar have, and and so many of our colleagues, like ha making sure that we put pressure on wh wherever you're watching this from, who is your state senator and who is your assembly member and give them a call and continue to call them until they agree that they're gonna sign on to all the bills on this package. Cause we cannot leave one dime on the table cause we don't have a rainy day fund anymore in New York. Yeah, absolutely. What it really comes down to in terms of the opposition is just people saying, well, how are you going to pay for it? And wringing their hands and not recognizing that, you know, if we uh, just had our priorities right as a state and we said we're going to tax the ultra wealthy, we're going to correct policies that have been bad for years and years, we're going to make up for uh, years of austerity budgets in which uh, there were cuts to our public schools and our hospitals and to the social services that New Yorkers rely on. If we don't change that, then we're always going to be um, asking, well, how are we going to pay for it, right? And so, so that's really what we what we need to do is, um, you know, look at these progressive proposals and and pass them. The Invest in Our New York Act is is like the absolutely necessary first step. Um, for us to generate the revenue that we need, not only to cancel rent, but to do all of the things that we need to do in order for, um, you know, for, for uh, the arts, for every industry in our state to uh, survive. Yeah, it's so hard to exist, you know, as a cultural institution, first of all, you know, it's just so hard to be an art gallery or any of these places that, um, you know, you, you try to survive with the, the price of rent and the price of utilities in New York City, um, you know, and, and becoming a bar was supposed to be the easy way to exist. Um, and then we're kind of thrown into this situation. And so, you know, it gets it gets to be really difficult with everything kind of piled on uh, at this at this point in time. Um, so we're really glad that we have people kind of fighting for us um, in the state. And speaking of fighting for you guys, let's make sure that we raise you some more money. So, um, I mean, we're, I, I heard that we're getting a couple more donations in. Connor, do you want to give an update? And, you know, I think that that's really exciting, but, but let's double it. Yeah, sure. We had um, BTS Joe and Rage Quit NYC both coming in with a donation while we were talking Rage here. Quit. So thank you all for that. Yes. Awesome. Shall we uh, do another round? Yes, I think we're, we're missing Senator Salazar. I think some people were talking about linking <laughs> tweets and whatnot. Did everyone get what they needed to tweet out? We did. Tweeted many times. Cool. Awesome. All right. Here we go. Go. Serious faces. Please let me be the imposter. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> I really just want to show off. I'm really glad. Uh, <laughs> very entertaining to hear everybody uh, rag on Cuomo like that. As somebody who uh, is from Long Island and had to deal with the Long Island Railroad for a few years while I was uh, commuting to school for college, uh, it was my, my introduction to my, my governor, so... Appreciate everybody speaking up. Oh, let's we gotta let, take care of this. Once it's safe to enjoy, I'll be back at Wonderville again and ordering twice as much to account for the lost time. And I will be there right with you. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, it's gonna be great as soon as we're all back. Um, where am I even? What am I even doing? Cool. Okay, so we'll we'll update the donation ticker momentarily. Um. Senator Salazar hanging out at the node. Um, here we go. Anything suspicious? Oh, okay. It's like a pretty confidently clear assembly member new. Senator Biagi, she looks okay. Just doing the node again. Oh! I saw Senator Salazar vent! I saw Senator Salazar vent! No, oh, I can't! Oh my god. Somebody, oh, somebody's already here. No! No! <laughs> no! I wow. heard someone gasp. Oh, sorry, that was me. I saw the dead body. <laughs> um, I saw the dead body. I saw oh. Connor. I was going to, I, I put the hand thing and closed off the seismic whatever reactor, and then I came down. Somebody was around there, but um, I think it was Julia, but I couldn't, I, I, didn't, I was too shocked by the body, obviously. I gasped. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> But yeah, I saw very the... convincing gasp and reaction. <laughs> well, I saw it. It's like, you know, a red stump. Yeah. You know? Conveniently <laughs> left your mic unmuted. Sorry, I didn't even know it was unmuted. <laughs> I, I, I didn't realize mine was unmuted either. But yeah, so me, Julia, or the yeah, other Julia? you, Julia. Okay, I didn't see the body, but. No, I saw. I just saw you, and I you were about you were about to go up to the, close the reactor too. So I, yeah, I saw you. Yeah. Which side were you on? The left side or the right side? I was on the left side. Okay, I saw Rick on the right side, and someone else. I don't really remember. I just feel like I just saw Julia Salazar crack a smile when she said. When we said, oh, I didn't see the body. <laughs> like, I don't know. Did anybody else see that? I'm not good at this game at all. No! <laughs> I don't what's happening. I'm surprised every time that someone dies. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have to vote. Sorry, I kind of voted my other one. Wait. Oh, nobody voted. I voted for, I voted for Salazar. Oh my god! Ah. Oh, but we don't get to know. Mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of tricky because they can also see me on I Zoom, don't have so any, I don't want I don't them reading my lips. I don't have any fellow ghost dead friends. <laughs> no dead chat. Sad. Dead chat's yeah. the best part of this game. Oh, they did get her though. Yeah, I mean, everybody at home can attest. I feel very I saw, vulnerable while doing I, I saw her do that in 4K live on Twitch. And then I paid the price for it. Uh, node and O2 cal canisters. Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, come on. Laboratory and O2. Okay, then I'm done. Yeah, we, we're going to have to hurry here. This is... Build this up. Do we have any more donations? I'm sorry if I, I missed any. I, I have to keep an eye out. But if you have yet to donate and you'd like to, you can donate at um, the link that will pop up when you type exclamation point donate in the chat. So put that out there. Come support Bushwick Ayuda Mutra. Well. <laughs> Mm 
in time for Oh, I had her. All right. All right, so I guess we'll just kind of follow uh, everybody around, see. Oh, she's just kind of chilling there. Ouch, oops. I switched the screen. Oh, apologies. Thank you, chat. Yeah, they got me. Um. All right. I don't know who the other imposter is, though. All we know is Senator Salazar so far. This is, <laughs> something's going on here. I don't know what's happening. Oh. Whoa. It was by the lab. Specimen room, that's the first time you spoke, I think it's Emily. <laughs> okay, now you know the room names all of a sudden. Yeah, because now I'm scared who they are. Okay, I was headed to the lab room to do a task, and it was right next to it. I think it's Rick. Rick was following me for a while. I was honestly trying to, like, clear my name. <laughs> I was trying to get away from you for a long time. Yeah, but, like, I followed you for so long. Wouldn't I, want, wouldn't I have killed you? One, <laughs> two, like, you would have seen me kill somebody else because I was with you for so long. So, like... I, you know, I already did all my tasks again. Like, I, I don't even know what to do when I run out of tasks. Like, how do I spend my days on the ship, you know? Find the imposter. I mean, I was following Mark. Because I don't it's trust Rick. Mark at all. At all. <laughs> Everybody's going to vote me off now, but I do. <laughs> Because she knew where the body was. She connected me. Wait, I knew it was her. Emily also can't I see a straight face right now either. I know, Emily can start the yeah, laughing. I don't know. I think it was Senator Biaggi. She corrected me on where the body was. No, I didn't. I didn't know where the body was. You said, <laughs> you said it's not the laboratory. It's the specimen. No, I said I was in the specimen room. Oh, I still think it was you. Wow, I can't believe <laughs> you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's not Rick, um, but okay, so it's one and three because we definitely know it was Senator Salazar. Um, hmm, this is interesting. I wonder who it is. It might be Mark again. He seemed like he was throwing it right back on Rick there, so. I wouldn't be surprised if it was him. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, no, she can't get through that. She has to wait for that door to clear. Okay, I don't think it's Sen Senator Biagi. She's faking tasks, or she's doing tasks with nobody around, so it's probably her, Emily. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess. Oh, wait, if there's four and one. I think the imposter, if they play this right with this this call here, they just win. We've got nobody here, nobody there. No, we've got Mark there. Oh, one of you has to go to the other side. <laughs> you can't do both on one. Although I guess it's not Emily or Mark because one of them would have killed the other there. Who could it be? I guess it's, it's probably E again. Wait, unless she's dead, let me check. Oh yeah, she's dead. Um, Who was the other person? Emily, Mark, oh, Julia. Oh, Julia's been very quiet. Oh, it's probably her. I'm gonna try and find her. Where is she? Um, <laughs> Senator Salazar just kind of hanging out. Oh, there goes Julia, let's see. Is there a body? Body around here? No, no. Oh, there she is. Oh, wow. All right, so someone's got to find that body quick because if Julia gets another kill, the game is over. Baking tasks right after that on the other side of the map. Well played. And I think she said she was a beginner too, so she's learning quick here. I 
found the body. Where was it? In the office. And I completed all my tasks. See you out there, Rick. <laughs> Julia, where were you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Like roughly on the map. I don't know what any of the rooms are called. <laughs> no, I was in I was in the lab laboratory, laboratory. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We have to vote somebody off. Otherwise, Who's? the next kill wins. Oh, shit. Is there only one imposter this time? Wait. There what should the be two. Okay. If there were two, they would have won already. Yo, it's Mark and Julia, and I'm left with them? No, I'm left no. them to survive this? Yeah, it's that's really creepy. And also, it literally, both of you, creeps. It's both of you. I'm going to vote for Alessandra. Yeah. Oh, you Look at this. I swear to God, I can't believe this. You found the body. It just, I think it, it makes sense. Oh, yeah, does it really? That's such a nice little story. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> We should be able to block a vote, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that like one of those like weird Republican things? <laughs> <laughs> we should be able to lay yeah, I'm, I, I'm filibustering this meeting here. Oh, it's Mark. Whoa. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Julia, the author. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how to be mm -hmm. the imposter. And then I very well, clearly. Amazing. <laughs> I, I saw Senator Salazar vent on the cameras, and I by the time I got to the button, she had already killed me. Oh my God. I only That's saw That's covering her. your tracks. That's good. I only mm -hmm. saw her after I saw the dead body, like, <laughs> like wandering about. So I was like, oh no. I would have gotten away with it if I had a poker face. But... <laughs> I couldn't so poor I, Connor was just I killed you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. um, so before we start the next game, uh, EE, e., I'd like to ask you about the New York City games community since you're involved in so many. Oh, yeah. Well, aside from Wonderville and DBAA, which are great indie game development communities, I'm also I also run the NYC Gaming Discord, which is one of the biggest discords that just bring together game developers and game enthusiasts from all over the place. Um, and I also am part of a collective of game developers called Gumbo NYC. Gumbo stands for Games Under the Manhattan Bridge Overpass and we're based in Dumbo. Um, yeah, and it's just, it's really, I think it's been admirable how people have really come together, especially during lockdown to both realize that in gaming you can you can still foster a sense of togetherness and community just by collaborating and building things and playing games together and bringing some more joy to our lives that in in a otherwise pretty bleak and terrible time and also it's just like everyone in nyc game dev is just so kind and creative and lovely and so willing to help each other out like regardless of whether you're a veteran in the field and have been working in AAA games for like 20 years, or if you've just just dipped your toe in the water with Unity like last week, everyone's willing to come together and build and collaborate. It's really great, yeah. So that's why I do it. That's awesome. And, and you're doing uh, Global Game Jam this weekend as well. Right now, I'm taking a little break to play Among Us, but after this, we're gonna get right back to building our game this weekend yeah Ooh. wait wh what does that mean can you and also can you rename those um those really two those two really cool websites that we can all join soon oh yeah so nyc gaming discord this is nyc gaming discord.com if you go there it'll just redirect you to discord and you'll pop right in and what then, if we suck at games besides <laughs> i mean especially this one since i've been killed 15 times. well like i said it's a very welcoming community so they might, you know, stomp all over you, no mercy, but they will also embrace you. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. 
What's the second one? And the other one is Gumbo NYC. Gumbo.nyc is the website. Um, and we're just a collective of people who have come together to work on indie projects and Skillshare, knowledge build, things like that. This is, and you can play all these games, yeah? Uh, some of them are still works in progress, but some of them have been shipped and are published, yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find one we liked, Alessandra. I know she loves games so yeah. much. Yeah, and By we have way, a gorgeous new headquarters that we can't invite anyone to yet. But once the pandemic's over, everyone's vaccinated. It's a beautiful space. We're gonna have events and like playtest nights. I feel like all of you should challenge Alessandra Biaggi to a Mario Kart game because <laughs> she is probably one of the best Mario Kart players I've ever really? seen in my whole life. Because the NYC life. Gaming Discord recently had an on-stream Mario Kart game Here. i'm terrible but you're welcome to join anytime i want to come to all these game nights that you all have yeah and another Here's secret Smash Brothers. senator james scoofus is probably one of the only people i have ever seen actually beat her at one or two games but most of the time she wins still okay. <laughs> so annoying no <laughs> <laughs> oh, they do this, this little thing so well like i don't understand it mm -hmm. Annoying. Anyway, it's so fun. We, we should do it. This is a very yeah. Let's cool do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Next fundraiser. Shall we start? Yeah. yeah. Um, so everybody knows he's the imposter. He's incepting the imposter into his mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before I start, um, please donate. Uh, we're raising funds for Bushwick Ayuda Mutua, who's our local mutual fund. Um, so. Uh, if you type exclamation point donate into the chat, uh, it will pop up with the link. Um, and they've been great uh, supplies, uh, food and supplies for people in our neighborhood. So um, please donate. And if you donate $20, donate $40. If you donate $40, donate $80. And if you donate $80, <laughs> double it. Keep going. Donate. <laughs> you can give a little bit more. Yes. Looking at you. If you got anything on Dogecoin, if you felt like you <laughs> got anything off of AMC, or if you got something off of Naked or BB, I, there's too many, honestly. GameStop people. If you're GameStop people, obviously this is a game. So please give us your money. <laughs> Amazing. I've been thinking about renaming um, our financial transaction tax the GameStop tax. What do you think, Yulene? <laughs> <laughs> I think that that would get so many people upset on the discord because I let me tell you actually um I think that I I kind of love the revolution and I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna <laughs> lie like I think that you know it really goes to show that um everything has been has been rigged <laughs> yeah. and like they could just decide whenever they feel like it to make sure that certain people are hurting and other people are, are gaming and that's just not fair and this is just another this is another uh, moment when we're seeing how our different systems are are built in a certain way and it's by design and um and it's to keep certain people richer and others uh not so much so um i think it's pretty 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 awesome but with the transactions i have to say you know michael king told me um some pretty crazy stuff but um literally the kind of this uh doubling like over a hundred percent doubling uh, in one day is almost impossible it's happened uh to, like, for like multiple stops stocks to do that in um you know it, it's uh it hasn't happened in like you know many years so it's like it happened in like 2001 and then a couple of years later in 2003 or four and then and then now and so this is like unprecedented so it's a very interesting moment in time and um and i think that with our fan financial transaction tax i think that the state could have made a lot of money <laughs> Yeah. during that time and we could have actually made a huge difference and people would be, I think that people would actually feel even better if every single person who was actually trying to um revolutionize like the whole uh way that Wall Street was working knew that you know you know 0.5 percent of not even one percent five percent of um of what they were putting in was going into uh actually our social services so just just saying like we we could we could have been making a difference today if we had passed our 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 bill our bill right now that's right <laughs> right never but, underestimate the power of reddit 
dude, <laughs> why don't we just like put a doge face on it and then see what happens to our bill? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> or you and me can. That'll be the <laughs> Perfect. Let's get started. Want to play? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if if like people can like change stocks with a meme, why can't we pass a bill with a meme? Yeah, you know that like old um, animation, how a bill becomes a law. They're just how a bill becomes a meme. <laughs> yeah. For twenty twenty one. Yeah, it's been wild these past couple of days. I gotta say, does anybody know what Doge is at right now? I'm just curious. <laughs> The um, I've been following it pretty closely. Uh, we gotta go over here, and I oh, we just lost Senator Biagi. Hopefully, she wasn't an imposter because that would <laughs> not be pleasant for the other imposter. I got Doge's kicked at, out of the game. Doge is at the moon. Oh, nice. Should we restart since it's so early? Yeah, we could restart and start a new mm -hmm. room. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Want to change the map? Let's change the map. We'll do the other map that we haven't played yet. Well, I'm glad I wasn't the imposter, or else I would have been pretty bummed that I, <laughs> I missed my chance. Do you like being the imposter? Oh, yeah. I hate it. It gives me such anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I've dreamt of being the imposter this whole entire time. Mm -hmm. I I was the imposter, and I mm -hmm. hated it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hate being the imposter. Me I'm glad I don't like having to kill people. Same. Mm -hmm. That's why I only killed one person when I was the imposter. And then you killed me. <laughs> yeah, I killed you. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, thank you for the $20 anonymous donation. Let's keep that going. Let's see. I think we're at 1225 right now. I think we could hit nice, 1500, nice. 1500 by the end of the next game. I think, I think easy we could hit that. We can definitely by the next game what where, where are we right now 1225 hey mark how many people are on the twitch we got 41 viewers oh if 41 people each gave just a little bit it would be <laughs> uh enough to reach the goal wait Donate uh, here. what happened <laughs> twelve dollars if tw if all 41 people gave twelve dollars right this minute it would be amazing. Would that get us to 1500? That would get us to our goal. Ooh, which is 2000 now, right? Or more? It's two, it's 2000 on the ticker, but uh, I'm just saying for the for the next game, by the end of the next oh. game, we should try and oh, oh, oh. hit 1500. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good that's a good that's a good way to go. That's amazing. That's, it's, it's, that's We can do that. Yeah, we're right there. I mean, we got right this. There. Let's go. All right. I feel like every time Rick looks up, he's looking at me and he's trying to literally kill me with his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like the Mona Lisa. You? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like right in your eyes on my screen. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, what room is this? I've never been here. <laughs> oh, I love it. <gasps> is this the new map? This is the first map I ever played on, so I don't think it's new. Oh, maybe I just haven't played it in so long. Oh, it looks familiar now. <laughs> this is great. I'm so glad I got imposter, <laughs> especially on this map. I, I'm not. I haven't. This is probably the map I've played the least, but I can. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Ooh, and we've got a donation, an anonymous twelve dollar donation. See, good listening right there. We're so close. No. Assembly member knew has been killed way too often. I would feel really bad if I took her out right at the beginning again. Let's see. Who can we find? We're in cafe. Oh, we've got Emily here. Okay, I'm going to... Nobody in here. Okay, I think I'm safe to take out... Sorry. <laughs> Oh, there's Emily. It's a little stressful. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, let's just pop out of here. That one's tricky because somebody can come walking right in and catch you. 
Let's try and go back down. Oh. Oh, my purple is running right past it. Okay, um, just real quick. Um, I found the body in one of the hallways connecting the areas. I saw Rick. You were walking I away know, from I it. Know, I saw you. <laughs> Why did you not call in that body? Before then, either y'all blow me off because you're heartless. You don't think about what it's like to be accused of something that mm. you've never done in your life in the whole game. <laughs> 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 you haven't yet. This is so sketchy. Where was the body found? It, it was in it was in one of the hallway areas. Um, two two uh, gonna, on the right I'm side. I'm voting for Rick because that's yeah. I mean, I literally saw him walking. I saw him walking away much. from the body. It's not fair. Just because I was walking by it doesn't mean I killed it. Okay, like, but you could have reported. I don't know how to report it. Mm. Okay, okay. That's, I report. I know how to press the emergency button. I don't know where that is. On okay. Track. It's fine. No, there's no hope for me now. <laughs> all this really hurt my feelings. That's all. <laughs> Complete all the tasks. Yeah. Who's the two um, robots here? I was on the balcony. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Julia's dead too. Interesting. Oh. It's like the first time she wasn't yeah. the imposter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she just every time Poor she meets, I'm always like, "What's yeah. going on? Why doesn't she say anything?" <laughs> I just have those murder vibes. It it, it might be the glasses. All They're like too <laughs> chic. All of you, mm -hmm. literally all of you. I can't believe you. Heartbroken. Wow. I just. Wow. <laughs> okay, we are back. Oh, he. I don't know what he was thinking there, not reporting that body, but he kind of gifted me that right on the silver platter. Oh, and of course, as soon as we leave the communications, there is a big old truck driving by. See, that's the thing, I don't know. Usually, you, you if you're together with your impo the other imposter like that, you want to try and pull off a double kill, but Emily and I haven't really coordinated on something like that, so I'm just going to... Stick apart for now. I don't know. Your Senator Salazar taking care of something. I'm just going to pretend to do my task up here. <gasps> wow. That was yep. quick. <laughs> oh, Connor! Oh, I finally, I, I got my chance. I didn't wow. even get to water any plants. That was really impressive. All of you killed me anyway. You threw Rick mm -hmm. under the bus so hard. No, he was—he was walking away from the body without reporting I know, it. But I, do, I don't lie. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very good like that. that. Well played, Connor. Oh, remember that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> truly, truly masterful. It was masterful. Connor knows too much. <laughs> I really like the map. That was a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, there's a little computer that, that tells you who's walking where on that map, too, so you can catch people venting. Where, where is that? Look? I know all of this. <laughs> <laughs> what can I, I stream. I stream is what I do. Computer. <laughs> Help. <laughs> where can we find that computer that shows us where everybody is? Here, f follow me in the beginning. I'll, I'll lead everybody to it. We have only 10 minutes, right? <laughs> do we need to. Does anybody else have anything to talk about? Where are donations at? Did we hit fifteen hundred? Not fifteen hundred yet. We're at um, somebody did donate twelve dollars, so I, we appreciate uh, the person who was trying to chip in with everybody else. But we're at uh, twelve fifty seven right now, so oh, so close. for real Come this on, time, everybody. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We can do this. We can do this. Fifteen hundred. Yeah, exclamation wow. point! Donate in the chat. There's the link. I want to bring up, uh, there's someone else who's on the flyer who's not with us, uh, Raffaello Van Coten, who is the um, the head of Babar, Brooklyn Allied Bars and Restaurants. Uh, his flight uh, came in too late and he couldn't make it, but he's been um, really great about organizing all of the bar and restaurant owners in New York. Um, and Babar has been so great for Wonderville. Um, just you know, letting us know about all of the new executive orders and, and you know, uh, 
you know, visits by various agencies. Um, it's a really, really great community, and um, I would have loved to have him on, maybe for a future game. Um, but in case anyone was wondering uh, about the other face on the flyer, that's who that is. Mm -hmm. We actually just got a $20, $20 donation from Dan who asked, what's everybody's favorite pizza joint? Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> Time to start a fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big Joe's person. Joe's Ooh, downtown yeah. is like the best. Like, I'm, I'm into it. I gotta yeah. say, they don't use fresh mushrooms on that pizza. <gasps> they some canned mushrooms on <laughs> Joe's pizza. No way. Really? Yes, way. Or at least the one on Bedford. Oh, well, I'm, I'm here downtown in Manhattan, so mm -hmm. very different Joe's. Yeah. We get fresh uh, fresh uh, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And I'm also a big fan of Justino's, which is up the street from mm -hmm. me. I'm in Murray John Hill right now. Oh, go on, Emily. I was just going to say, John and Joe's from Pelham Parkway, really good pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, there's a place called Armando's near me that I like. Like in, um, it's kind of on the border of Bushwick and bed uh near Cooper Street in Broadway, in Brooklyn. The Sicilian Sorry. slice from Doughboys in Murray Hill is phenomenal. We've been ordering a lot of Rome to Brooklyn, which is in Williamsburg, um, and they make a really good pie. They also do like mm -hmm. cauliflower crust, if anyone's into that. Mm -hmm. I like Rome to Brooklyn. Sounds like an act against pizza. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a crime. Nobody's allowed to act against pizza. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Ban cauliflower crust immediately. Yeah, not a fan. <laughs> what are folks' thought on pineapple on pizza? It's a very, very controversial topic. I am a huge fan of it. I know Julia hates it, but. I'm Asian. I like the salty sweet combo. I sometimes like a salty sweet combo. Did you just say pineapple on pizza? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah. Just so it's a controversial yeah. topic. People, it's weird. It. It's weird. I'm also Asian and I don't like it. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> what about vegan pizza? Do Ooh. we accept it or do we not accept it? Acceptable. Yeah. Yes. I love Although that. the dough is weird. I love it though, it's so good. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Like the one that, that when we're like staying late and they get us that pizza, that weird pizza. Yeah. It's not really, like it? really, it's like Elio's pizza. Yeah. So good. Yeah, I don't know where it comes from either. <laughs> Is it cauliflower crust? <laughs> no. We just they had a discussion. Get regular and vegan for us if we're like there, you know, if, if we're going into session at like midnight or we're conferencing late or something. Which is nice, but it is weird pizza. <laughs> tomato sauce is like not really a tomato sauce. But it know. sounds like Alessandra loves it. I don't, I don't really <laughs> know that sauce. That's, there's no dietary restriction that would prevent with some, you know, vegans can eat tomatoes. That's you right. Know, you need to. I'm not a vegan though. I just like the way the cheese tastes in my, it's, the cheese is like, I'm not into ASMR, but I feel like if ASMR <laughs> Down or if ASMR had a, had a taste, this is what it would be. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's so soothing to you. <laughs> Most soothing sensation. It, it, it's like really thin play doh. It's so weird. That sounds <laughs> so gross, AB. I think I know what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I like the texture. I get it. It's so good. I never yuck anybody's yum, <laughs> but like <laughs> honestly, when you describe it as crispy play-doh <laughs> you're making it really hard for me to not yuck your yum no, it's melty play-doh melty play-doh yeah. i've never tasted i don't know <laughs> melty play-doh you want this it's so good i can't explain it the combination of that with the sauce with the that because it's a sicilian slice it's there's so much extra dough so the combination is very like the whole thing is like a Play-Doh mount. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's very weird. It's <laughs> it the next so the two of you just like break up this pizza and just chow down on it, right? I mean, I eat like four pieces of it. It's like, this is making me want pizza. <laughs> 
Oh. Honestly, maybe we should all order pizza. I'm thinking. I actually yeah. had pizza before I came <laughs> on here. <laughs> I would do it. I would do it if someone made a generous donation right now. To order a pizza right now. Everybody would order a pizza for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Oh, we got a question about mayor picks. Oh, yeah, we did. Well. Have to... Yeah. Well. Oh. Well. <laughs> we only have four minutes left. Emily, where did you get your pizza from in the Bronx? I got it from Emilio's Pizza in oh, Mars Park. That's awesome. Emilio's is so good. I, Emilio's is so good. Yes. Come well, on. it's no secret that uh, Alessandra, Julia, and I all endorse one person. So. Uh, yeah, that's why I was like, oh. Mm, yeah, not a real discussion. I want to know bad. from you all, you know, yeah. If, yeah. If we're talking mayor's picks. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you, you guys can tell us who your mayoral picks are. Yeah, seriously. You know, and like that's I think that's actually cooler. Yeah, way cooler because ours is no secret. Yeah. I do think it's cool that it's ranked choice and that like some mayoral candidates have endorsed others to like run together. That's it's really awesome to see candidates like not attacking each other. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm interested to see how ranked choice voting affects like these campaigns. Yeah. But in the end, aren't is aren't all the candidates going to turn against each other? towards the end of the race anyways. Isn't yeah, that no. I Only one will we'll be mayor. <laughs> this is literally the first time that we've ever done ranked choice. So it's kind of also a weird social experiment if you want to call it that. Yeah. First, um, one of the ranked choice elections in New York City is gonna be on the second. When is the, the second is what, Monday? Yeah? Tuesday? Yeah. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yeah. Um, and it's the special election in the 24th district in Queens. Mm -hmm. um, so fun fact. <laughs> I so on the city level, since we're all on the right. state level, like what is one thing that you want your mayor to deal with? Like just like one word. What is one issue or something that you want your, your mayor to deal with? There's a lot of overlap, I think, with like the state when it comes to rent and like mm -hmm. small businesses obviously i'm biased because of all of the pandemic stuff yeah. um transportation for me because i bike a lot i think is a big issue and mm -hmm. i think new york city has done has made great strides but there's still like not great bike infrastructure um so i'd love to see them embrace that like a may a mayor that bikes places and doesn't have a private car that would be great that's actually cool mm -hmm. it's a cool idea in the bronx if we say the word, if we say the term bike lane, we basically get chased out of every community board. It's like we say we're gonna like bomb the streets. Like it's mm -hmm. very commercial. It's un we fight against it all the time. Fortunate. We're fortunate Pol in North Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Police funding is another big issue that I'd like to see addressed. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was just gonna say that accountability. Mm -hmm. oh, that's huge. Here, if uh, I mean of all the mayoral candidates. If you were to if you were to say that there was one imposter wow things got rick stirring the pot the server closed the room at that yeah. exact <laughs> <laughs> like <"Ugh." laughs> yeah you can skip the vote it's fine <laughs> this is a great question though and it's really fun for this uh, particular event Okay, do we know all the can who all the candidates are? Has anybody new? I think every single New Yorker yeah. is running from what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every what? Every single New Yorker? Uh-huh. What about? It's running. I didn't hear. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Oh, it's running. running. Oh, got it. Yeah. What is an imposter in this context? Does it mean they're going to um murder all the other candidates <laughs> Does it mean they, they don't really want to be mayor <laughs> like <laughs> like you know can we define imposter they like they're insincere maybe they flip flop their record isn't great got it insincere hmm. <laughs> they want to use the platform to run for president maybe 
Oh. Any one of those people? I mean, how about you Again? guys tell us who you think the imposter is? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I think the the New York City mayor position's uh, interesting because De Blasio, I felt, used it to to run for president and didn't care about the city, and that really was a problem. And so it's like I want a mayor who wants to be mayor and doesn't want mm -hmm. like, to use it as leverage for a higher position. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Also, how could you not want to be mayor of New York City? And not like I like I don't want to be mayor of New York City, but not like, enough. City, like what? Like, do you know how much fun that would be? Yeah. Oh, I know who the imposter is, Andrew Yang. I mm -hmm. I don't want to vote for Andrew Yang. Yeah, yeah. Pr pretty sus to me. <laughs> Sorry, Yang. Sorry, Yang. Yang. He's a he's a friend of mine. Um. But yeah, no, I I'm, I've been hearing a lot of people say stuff, but like he's a, actually a really mm -hmm. nice person. Yeah. Like I I like him as a person, mm -hmm. and his wife, amazing. I love Evelyn. Uh, Evelyn is one of my favorite people. I think I think he agrees with you about Evelyn mm -hmm. based on his campaign video, and and certainly, you know, I think I wanted to vote for Evelyn when I saw his campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I would have ranked her only, like yes. Yeah. <laughs> I would have ranked her up there. <laughs> I was only teasing him about it when I when I said that, but th there was a lot of focus on Evelyn in the campaign video. So well, she's you know she's really great, and so I mean if if I was uh, putting a video together, I would focus it on on you and Biagi. So you know, life partners are important. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we have this stream scheduled until 10. Um, I, I'm i okay with playing longer, but I understand if people want to go. Um, but uh, I have, you know, we can play one more round maybe on the stream. Um, oh. All right. Mm -hmm. Do one more and then I got to go do yeah. some jamming. Cool. Um, cool. So one more. Get those donations in. One more game. Yeah. Where are we at? We are at thirteen fifty seven right now. What can I? How how do I motivate more people to donate? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Thinking about it. And we had somebody who was saying that they still wanted me to mer to vote out Mark first. Uh, mm -hmm. So. If we get a donation right now, I'll cast my first vote for Mark, no matter who I think it is. How about that? <laughs> also do the same. We will collectively <laughs> Mark. Oh! <laughs> yeah, for every $10 you donate, yes. another player can vote me off. That's a good bargain. Yeah. Oh, Ben with $100. Senator Salazar, this is the pizza donation. Oh, shit. Wait, how much was it? One hundred dollars. Oh, wow. we've got another That's anonymous twenty dollars right. coming well, in. Uh, hey. the only how do I so how do I demonstrate that I'm fulfilling my commitment? Because if I order a pizza now, I will order the pizza. Yeah. I have to tweet order it the pizza now. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Tweet it, and then you, and with that tweet, you can say this is your one hundred dollar donation uh, person's pizza, and ask for more <laughs> donations. <laughs> Wait, the person's name was Ben. <laughs> yes, Ben. Ben. Ben, we love Ben. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. Oh, he's in Thank the chat you, too. Thanks, Ben. Aww. Thank you. Yeah. Emily, right on the money. I don't know why you all are thanking Ben. I'm the one who's getting pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, thank you, Ben. Okay, I think we're just missing Senator oh, Salazar, right. I believe. Yeah. Look, I'm a little busy ordering pizza. Yeah, ordering the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. Mm -hmm. Are you getting pineapple on the pizza? Absolutely not. <laughs> Sorry. Badness. If Yolene were here, I would mm -hmm. get it on half of it, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, and get it, get it direct, get it direct. No seamless, no uh, Grubhub. Yeah, Suppo yeah. Support support in our restaurants. Chris for yeah. Chris, Chris donating twelve dollars. Mark Lieb for comptroller of Airlock. <laughs> <laughs> I'll vote myself off if we get. Oh, why didn't they let me join? Okay, sorry, y'all. 
really sell <laughs> not on any of the delivery places. Uh, 20s on Knickerbocker and Myrtle. Not, mm. not on there. And they also have no menu on the internet, which sucks. But they're a pizza place and have all the pizza toppings order from there. Yeah, yeah I love I love Tony's. Um, I want to mm -hmm. make sure that actually that's great, but that does mean I'm gonna have to call them. Emily, twenty five dollars Bronx love. Thank you, Emily. Aww. <laughs> We beat Brooklyn last time, so this is like a care package. <laughs> like a care, a little care package. We did a census, like Battle of the Burrows thing, and we beat Brooklyn twice, so. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. <laughs> just Bronx love. So hello, uh, Vinny Smith Purr. My name's Connor. I uh, I am a charity streamer. Wonderville was super cool, letting me host this event today. So big shout out to them supporting me. I stream on Twitch at Rabbit House Games. So appreciate them coming out to support. They helped me big okay. with a uh, charity stream I did on Halloween. You know, I just came to them. Kind of explained what I was doing, and they were super cool putting the... Oh, I gotta build this thing again. Um, they were super cool helping me just get the word out. Uh, gotta put this together. There we go. All right. All right, back up to the other side. Oh, I was gonna show everybody where the log was, but I guess, I guess we all forgot about that. <laughs> Who changed their name? Yeah, we have... I think EE is Andrew Yang now. Um, let's see. Oh, and I do have to, I gotta remember, I have to vote Mark first, no matter what. <laughs> I promised. What are we at now? Let me see. 15, 14. It is Ooh. so hard to try to play among us and order a pizza by phone <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> I just want to say that. Somebody changed their name to Andrew Yang. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> oh. Don't kill me. Ooh, I like the little running Ooh. animation. Nice to meet you, Connor. Sounds like a good story. Feel free to link your Rabbit House streams. I'll give a follow. All about the chart stuff. Great. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate that. Um, wow, well, I got killed while I was up. doing that. I didn't even see who did it. <laughs> oh. Let's. See. Okay. Well, I'm done now. We're doing the tasks pretty quickly. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like the proper balance of, of plugs. I don't want to spend too much time doing, but yeah. Twitch.tv slash Rabbit House Games is if you're looking to uh, check me out. No. Appreciate oh that God. for real. Oh, uh, finally, somebody found me. Rosie, you, you, you reported it. Yes, in the room near the geraniums, whatever that thing is called. <laughs> uh, Rick was following me again. I yeah, but I was. I didn't kill you though. No, I wasn't. Wait, aren't we supposed to kill Mark first, regardless? You can that's all. Right. Kill him that's Mark. true. Actually, we all. No, I mean, go. are we beholden to it by donation or no? We hit fifteen hundred, so if you all want to vote me off, I'm fine with it. I think it's necessary. I think it's necessary. We don't have a choice here. The people have spoken. Power to the people. Mark. Goodbye, my friend. I hope you were the imposter. I wasn't, sorry. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> this is a terrifying answer. Wait, somebody didn't vote. Oh, Julia's still ordering pizza. <laughs> so sorry, okay. Um, mm, oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, only one person voted for me. <laughs> okay, so did anybody see who actually killed me? <laughs> I didn't even catch it. I was too busy looking at my uh, my download there. So I, I don't know who to follow then. 
Let's definitely not mark. Ooh, Edward's spinach pizza is good. That actually does sound pretty good. I'd probably be down for spinach pizza. Because I feel like it would, I guess, balance out, I guess, the general unhealthiness of pizza. I'd be like, oh, it's, you know, spinach pizza. It's, it's fine. Okay, so I don't really know who's who here. I know follows. Ain't anything on Twitch, but hey, do your bit. Yeah. No, I'll, uh, I really appreciate it. I, I'll definitely keep an eye out for anybody coming through. Say hi next time I'm on. Rick is fixing that still. Oh, I think it, this is uh, two people have to be tuning it together on this one. Oh, here's the door log if anybody... I don't know. I know we were talking about that before. This is where it is. Let's see. Andrew Yang <laughs> working on the comms. I don't think... Do, that, do people know how this works? That you have to do it at the same time? There we go. No wave. You're going to go unhealthy, eat some healthy. Yeah, you know, balance it out a little bit. Cut your losses. Get a little, I guess, what is iron in spinach that's good for you? I don't know. Assembly member new. I don't know what she's doing right now. She might be the imposter. She's just kind of aimlessly walking around. She could be done as well. Where's the emergency button? Hmm. I need to call I think a my meeting said something like that right once. now. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him it's where it is. in the cafeteria okay. where, where Julia's just standing. <laughs> I'm with her right now. <laughs> Ordering her pizza. I think when you go healthy, you gotta go all out on healthy. Go sausage pizza is the best. It? That's true. What's going on? Yeah, sausage pizza. Guess, is it cheating? I don't drink I soda, but no, I respect we it. Can, we can all press it. Do you need it? What's going on? I just, I, I know one of them. There we go. All right. It's one of them is definitely Yang. Me? Uh, I think is Emily because <laughs> right no Who's, I'm he, Andrew Yang okay yeah no you you've been you've been so sus you were I just, really appreciate that no one killed me despite that I was just a sitting duck <laughs> were you not just in the room with me while I was fixing cons wait you were right next to me Rick I don't know, yeah, I, but it looked like you weren't doing anything. It looked like you were like... You didn't fix it. I stepped in and fixed it. And you no, left actually, the room and then you came back in. Actually, I fixed it. No, 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 you were in the other room with comms. I passed by you because I saw there were two people on that station. So I went to the one oh. that Rick was at. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. You saw me right there! You were standing fixing it. in front of missing. You were not... <laughs> You were not working. You claimed to do your job. You were not doing your job. Okay. But you weren't doing it either because you were standing there. It was not fixed, so then I stepped in and fixed it. So I think really you're the one I agree. who couldn't fix it. I thought you called an emergency meeting because you saw something real. This is not real. <laughs> Andrew Yang for mayor. <laughs> not imposter. Could say Andrew Yang, but I have no evidence of this. I think I think we just have a feeling. Interrupting my task. I think it's you, Rick. You said it was me. Agree. Because I mixed up the. I just thought. But it know, says my name. <laughs> I've been honest every time. Oh, I think Rick got kicked out. Oh. oh I'm no. so sure. I don't know. No one got ejaculated or ejected. <laughs> wow, <Ejected>. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even funny, but it's funny. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. not funny, but it is. Not funny. <laughs> oh no. Connor, can you like share some out with, uh, share some dynamic about the right group now. in this game? What? Um, I'm just hanging out with you now. Well, yeah. They're, well, they're slowly getting better throughout the night. A pizza is on the way. <laughs> you finished all of your tasks too, then. <laughs> Me? Yeah, by by ordering. Yes. The yeah, in, in the the in real life tasks I did. In in the beginning, we were all still fin figuring out some of the tasks and whatnot, but everybody's been improving as the night goes on. I'm glad I got my one imposter game in. Doctor. Is somebody gonna go get this other one? Oh God, I think it's over. I got disconnected. Oh no, it's on the other side. -y. Other side? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, okay. It's definitely E, because why wouldn't she go? 
Again, no offense, I'm new, but any tells or info on certain people? Do certain people do certain things or how do you know each other? So we all kind of came together just um, in support of uh, Bushwick, Ayuda Mutua. Uh, I know that Senator Salazar had come on to uh, join the Save the Arcade stream that um, <gasps> Wonderville had set up a few weeks ago just to make sure that they would be able to stay open throughout the pandemic. And we are back here. Who gasped? No. Oh. Wait. I know no. it wasn't Yulene. Yeah, it definitely wasn't me. Because <laughs> I saw her right before. There's nobody over there, though. For where? Where? Where is uh, the again? Right before the floor splits. Like where those little paintings are. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's on your head, Rosie? Is that an eyeball? Yes. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> um, I think we do need to eliminate someone. Based on the numbers. Who is D Scully? That's I don't think me. I knew that. Oh, okay. Um, and who found it? Stood around with uh, Julia the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't think it is uh, Yulene who's D Scully. I think it's through you. I think it's Andrew Yang. I think that you it's would think it's that... Andrew Yang. <laughs> I think it's not us that you always find all of the bodies, Rosie. <laughs> that you know where they are. Before we know. But it's also plausible that Julia and Yulene would protect each other. <laughs> I just, Julia, I was like, as a salty mama? If Julia voted there, yeah. she could have um, changed what? how that all happened. Killed, killed Andrew, yeah. I don't have, uh, I got kicked off the game somehow. Did somebody get voted off? Yeah. Drew Yang got voted off. Yeah. Um, yes. You, I mean, okay, so it might just be Julia. She didn't hey, Julia, vote. we should go and do oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have to be I'm going there. up you don't to both. the greenhouse. Oh, okay. Most used word this stream is sus. <laughs> We're just standing yeah. there. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, there goes Emily, too. Trying to do too many things. Uh, thank you, Mark, following up there with the uh, the question on how we all know each other. Yes, yeah, so it was really great just coming together, uh, all these different community leaders, and of course, you know, the senators and assembly member new coming through to support a great cause. I mean. We're in the last few minutes of the event here. We hit that 1500 mark we were looking to hit. I don't know, anybody else out there? Anyone else? Last call for donations. Type exclamation point donate in the chat to get that link because we will be wrapping it up soon. Oxygen again, wow. <laughs> uh, hello, Senator Salazar. Oh, there she goes. So this is where a knowledge gap may be on British. Oh, for like the different positions? Are you curious? Just for senator versus assembly member? Um, yeah, let me double check. I don't want to misspeak on it. Cancel. So... Uh, assembly member new is member of like the state assembly so like, each, each district <laughs> votes on their own i guess there it's just when when they meet um i believe they meet all meet in albany um which is the capital of new york so yeah yeah new york state legislator scared. you're saying new senate i understand the system but don't know people chiefs taking it edward i actually agree <laughs> Oh shit! All right, what I know it's. Are there? I think it's Julia Fred. Well, yeah, me too. 
But also, oh, okay, now we can vote. Yeah, no doubt. That's crazy. All right. Sorry. Sorry that you always have to be the imposter. I think that she's always the imposter. The game has deemed it so. Check her out voting for me. <laughs> <laughs> for myself. Um, yeah, Edward, the Nets uh, just won. <laughs> I've been following. So now what? Oh, what there it is. It was Julia Fred. We won. Oh, okay. Was there only yeah. one? No, I yeah. was the other one. Andrew Yang was the other imposter. Oh, she, she, she was, was right. I know, Rick. Look at him. <laughs> Clever. Vindication. That was really smart of her, though, because she tried to make it seem like we were pairing up. Yeah. It was sort of meta. <laughs> Wait. Uh, all right, y'all. This was really fun. Where are we at? Number two. We're at one thousand five hundred and fourteen dollars raised for Bushwick. Yeah. Amazing. Reached the goal. And the donation link will still be live. So if people watch the VOD after this, they can still donate. And if you see the tweet from Julia of her pizza, <laughs> please donate. She's going to put the link in there on that tweet, right, Julia? Yes, I absolutely will. Um, and hopefully the pizza will arrive soon. I think maybe <laughs> like before 11, <laughs> but I don't think we'll be on here anymore. So I'll just tweet out the photo of it. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for playing. This was really great. Um, it's so awesome to be able to play games with, you know, such uh, influential people in the community. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to do this in person sometime soon. For sure. Thank you guys so much for inviting us. Next time Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Thanks everybody at home in chat. I can't play donated. Mario Kart. Yuling goes in reverse the whole time. I'm like in circles, <laughs> hitting a wall. Very true. Awesome. And um, wait, if you like the interwebs, what's up? Where do we find everybody. Like, what's everyone's handle on Ooh. Twitter? And stuff? Oh yeah, I think in the Wonderville, one of the Wonderville tweets, we're all tagged. Oh good. Mm -hmm. Oh good. Cool. Check it I'll out. Drop everyone's Twitter in the the Twitch chat as well. Mm -hmm. If you guys drop them in the Zoom chat, I can copy them over. Cool. Um, and if you liked this video, uh, <laughs> you can follow Wonderville NYC on Twitch. Um, we're streaming almost every day now, um, all different kinds of things, sometimes from Wonderville, uh, mostly remote. Um, so please follow and subscribe. Um, mm -hmm. We're closed until maybe Valentine's Day, word on the street. Um, so hopefully we'll all see you again soon. Awesome. Right. Thanks, Mark, for organizing this. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you for thank raising you so some much. money for the community. Yeah, we're we're so excited to be able mm -hmm. to fundraise for um, you know such a great organization. So thank you all for participating, and we're we're such big fans of you know the work you're all doing. Thank you. We couldn't do it without you, seriously. So we really appreciate the support. Awesome. And uh, keep up the great work. Awesome. We'll see you in the game world. Yeah. <laughs> in, in the game. Yes. Oh my gosh. Does anyone get that? That reference? Wait, does anyone see, has anyone seen this new show, The Imposters? Oh. No oh. one. Okay, then that wasn't funny at all. Okay, someone else <laughs> has probably seen this show. It's called The Imposters. It's really good. Um, and, uh, and anyway, they'll get that reference. <laughs> 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 what has been your pandemic show before we close out it's just one yeah just one like the <laughs> pandemic show like the one that you're going to come away with like this la next la like last year beginning of this year like the one that you're going to be like this was the pandemic thing that helped out if you have a list alessandra like i mean <laughs> i think that people will be okay with you sharing it that's such a long list bridgerton Ah, oh, Bridgerton. Oh, I wish I didn't see it though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> why? Because it's still not real life. <laughs> after, like, after it was over, I was like sitting up straight. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like, this is. I'm like, this is absurd. 
I definitely tried to buy some Empire Waist dresses after watching that. And then I was like, no, no one looks good in Empire Waist dresses. It's so small. It's so weird. It's like how to look 12 and pregnant at the same time. <laughs> yes, <great>. <laughs> <laughs> um, Love is Blind was another one that just like, what in the world? You love that show. You kept trying to make me watch it. And then when I watched it, I wish I went blind. Like I, I literally, I, I, I wish I didn't have to see it. It was, it was not good. Let me tell you, it's a waste of my time. I am. Um, I watched Servant. I don't know if it defined my pandemic experience, but has anyone seen the show Servant? Am I the only one who watches the shows that I watch? <laughs> Where are you streaming shows from? Alternative like network? <laughs> Where are these shows? No, I have an Apple TV, oh. and it's the only way that I watch TV. So yeah. So yeah. what was the first one you said? Ser Servant's the second one. And what's the first one? The Imposters. But that one's new. So, you know, I guess, or I think it's new. It's new on Netflix. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to say How To with John Wilson. Oh, so the good. The quintessential New York City show I've ever seen. It was so good. Huh. All right. mm. I'm going to tell you mine. Yeah. It was um, the uh, Pretend It's a City, Fran Lebowitz. Oh God! It was so New York. It like with the how to. Oh my gosh! Just watch them both. It's it's like it's our city. Is it on Netflix? <laughs> I feel yeah. like now we're just advertising for these shows. Yeah. <laughs> Brian was talking about like how cilantro is not that great. That kind of offended me. <laughs> there are probably maybe... a lot of things that we probably didn't agree with. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, also, maybe they have that gene or or that predisposition where oh, yeah. cilantro tastes like soap, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Some people really hate cilantro because <laughs> of that. I'm so grateful that I don't have that problem. Oh, Same. it's so good. I love cilantro. You can't have Asian food without cilantro. Yeah. Or chives. Chives. Mm, I love chives. Oh, now I'm, now I'm going to have to order pizza after this, too, because I'm uh, getting hungry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. Well. Um, yeah. So let's all cool. go order pizza. Thanks, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Great. Have a good night, everybody. Night. Good night, night everyone. You.